Hi guys, welcome back. Today in the session we will be talking about very important concept in SQL Server which is the blocking. So what is blocking basically? Let's say there is a session with the SPID 1 and there is a session with the SPID equal to 2. So SPID is semi session 1 and SPID session 2 different sign. Now there is a resources for example there is one table tab 1. On this tab 1 there is an exclusive lock of this particular session ID 1. Now again this SPID 2 is trying to place the shared lock on it. Trying to place shared lock. which is conflict locks right so what happened you know this session which has the SPID 2 need to wait till SPID 1 gets completed so this is the blocking so blocking something like the blocking other session from other one where can I see the blocking is there or not there are a lot of different ways where we can check the blocking is there or not basically so the first one we can directly run SP who to there is one system procedure SP who to when I execute it I can see different columns there and the very important column here is block by if this column is having any value it means there is a blocking and we need to see which session ID here I am seeing and just take that session ID and see in the SPID column which session it is from which host it is coming and what is the status right now so here we can check now so there is a one more there is a sys table sys processes where we need to take the those SPIDs which are greater than 50 Always remember one thing never run the select star on a production. I'm just doing it for the testing because it's not a production in moment. Just the take the session ID which are greater than the 50. The session ID less than 50, I mean, these are the uh, these are basically these system internal SPIDs. So, okay, I am seeing this money session ID that's fine. Okay, now we'll practically see how we can demonstrate the blocking before that I just want to say one more concept here that's a lead block so let's say now this is session 2 uh, there is a one more session called as a SPID with 3 so this is also trying to mm, place the shared log on the table 1 or the exclusive log basically so that session ID also need to be waste wait basically yes so what will happen you know there is a chain will happen so this SPID need to wait till the SPID 1 get completed and now SPID 3 need to wait for SPID 2 to complete so this 3 will be blocked by 2 and 2 will be blocked by 1 this is the hierarchy and in this hierarchy which is blocker the lead blocker is one if I kill the lead blocker all other session ID will get executed and the other queries uh, will get access and blocking will be resolved but it solely the uh, decision of the DBA or the developer to kill the session or not right just want to show you one more important dbcc command here there is a dbcc command called as input buffer which we can run and it will give us the text of that respect you session okay so i hope you like our video regarding the blocking in the next video i will show you practically demonstration how we can create uh, blocking how we uh, how blocking can may happen thanks for watching have a great day